guys, Harry here from techmediafusion.com. Thanks very much for joining me this morning. Uh, today I want to talk to you about an application that is primarily for bloggers. And um, basically what this application does is it allows you to create blogs um, and your, sorry, your posts on your blog offline. So in other words, if you're out and about and you don't have any internet connection and um, Rather than sitting wasting time, if you've got an idea for a post or an article or something like that, you can take out your laptop and sit down and construct the post as you want and then uh, save it as a draft. When you get back into an internet connection, then you can post it. Now, for those of you that use WordPress, um, I'm sure you already know that if you try to write an article in, say, like uh, Microsoft Word or uh, Apple's Pages or anything else like that, Whenever you copy and paste it or try to transfer it back over into your WordPress, it doesn't always it doesn't always come out the way it's supposed to, to look. You know, you might have uh, the headings might be wrong, they may not be the right font and all the rest of it. And there's lots of different little things that you've got to tweak about. This just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go through the application with you now. Um, this is it here, it's called Mars Edit. Now I wanna make it clear that um, there's a lot of different applications out there that will do the same job as this. Some of them are free, some of them you got to pay for. Uh, you can get them for Mac and PC as well. This particular program is Mac only and unfortunately it's $39.99 uh, American US dollars. But you do get a 30 day free trial. You, you can either go to the website and get the 30 day free trial and download it that way or you can actually download this app from the app store and here in the UK it's £27. <clears throat> so anyway let's get into it. So whenever you first of all download this application and you start it up it's going to ask you if you already have a blog and it will ask you to put in the details of the blog. Um, as you can see down the, the left hand side here I have a list of my blogs that I use. If you needed to add another blog you would Go down to the bottom, click on the plus sign, fill in the name of the blog, you can put that as whatever you want, put in your URL. When you click finish and move on to the next section, it'll ask you then to uh, put in your uh, login details, the login details that you normally use to get into the admin section of your blog on WordPress. Once you've done that, it'll then go and look for the blog and all the categories and posts and pages that are already on it. And as you can see here, it'll give you the list of the different posts and pages that you have. If you click on any one of them there, it will um, give you like a, a, a quick preview of what it is. Now these these posts were done on WordPress. These posts weren't done on, on this Mars edit. So the whole idea of this is whenever you're offline and you want to create a post. So let's go up here and... <clears throat> Turn off the Wi-Fi, sorry, excuse me. Come across here, so the Wi-Fi is off and you want to create a new post. So you click up here on the left-hand side, new post. At the top here you get the option of selecting which blog you want the post for. Put in your title. And then come down here and just start typing. You, you can put your tags in here if you want. Uh, you can start typing down here. Uh, if you want to, you can go up to the top. And if you go up to the top right hand corner here, you get your format options. So if you want to add in your headings, you can do that. Um, if you need to add a link, so in other words, if you want to highlight something and create a link, you can do that as well. You can also create a link uh, from an image, that type of thing, create different styles. Uh, you sort out all your alignments and just just justifying things that type of stuff. Uh, if you want to add a an image into the post, you click on the media here, and what this does is generically it'll open up onto your pictures folder. But if you've got um, 
a folder on your desktop with images you can just drag it across into this area here uh, and it will present the images that you have down at the bottom there so you can select the image you can see here it will give you all the different uh, information about it and from here you can change it about if you want and then click on insert and that adds the image into the, the post like I say once you've done all of this and you're, fin you're happy with it, you go up here and you can select your categories. If, if you want as well, from this section here, you can create a new category if you want. But uh, for now, we'll just select um, a category that's already made up. Go down to the bottom and select draft because you're not going to be able to publish this. You're offline, don't forget. The whole, that's the whole idea behind this. Uh, text filter, none comments you want that left open and trackbacks well that's entirely up to you whether you have those on your blog or not and once you're ready then you click you save as a draft and close that down also as well whenever you're coming to the images I forgot to mention that when you're in here uh, and you are either looking for the images on your Mac you also get the option of adding your Flickr account so that's a pretty neat option. Now obviously you're not going to have access to that if you're offline, but nevertheless it is there for whenever you want to use that. So close that down. Now when you go when you're having a look around stuff like that there, if you look up at the top here, this is your local drafts, and these are the draft posts that you've already created. Um, once then you get yourself into a uh, Wi-Fi situation and you're able to connect to the internet all you got to do is double click on your post and then click send to blog when you send that to the blog that will automatically publish itself on the blog now you can schedule it so it, it can get done at a certain time for you as well but if you just click on send to blog then that's it and that's basically the, 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 the way this application works now you can if you want um, tweak a lot of different options as well. If you go into edit settings, um, there's a lot of different things here that you can look into about changing whenever for editing and adding posts, that type of thing. But that's something that you can look into and it's all personal to each and every one of you really. A lot of people like using this application uh, for the pure and simple reason. The, main, the only reason really I use this is if I'm out and about and I don't have connection to the internet and I want to create a post so that when I'm back in the situation where I'm on the internet, I can post it straight up to um, my WordPress. But a lot of people use it so that they can just write the post from their desktop instead of having to go online and log into their WordPress uh, and start selecting whether they want to post and all the rest of it. I personally don't understand why people would do that, but they do, and they that's what they use Mars Edit for as well. So that's the application. Now, the other alternatives that are out there, like I said, the this is the pricing structure here for Mars Edit. If you wanted to go and buy it, like I say, you get a thirty day free trial. For Microsoft users, you can have you can use Windows Live Writer, which is similar. It's a free um, application. This one here, Blog Desk, this is also free and it's uh, for Windows. Uh, this next one here, Comana, I think it's pronounced. This is cross-platform and it's free, so you can use it on Mac, um, Linux, or Windows. Um, this is pretty similar, actually, to Mars Edit. It doesn't have quite everything that Mars Edit does, but it's it's very very similar. There's, you wouldn't really notice that much of a difference. And then the other one, um, it's called Ecto. It hasn't brought up the web page here, but uh, it's it's a sixteen dollars I believe that one is. I'll leave the links for those down into the comment section down below. But it's a great little application and it's a good thing to have. It's in particular if you are a blogger and you're always out and about uh, and it's just an application that's going to help you utilize your time better. Anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget if you want you can go across to Tech Media Fusion and uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook and uh, Google Plus. All the links will be across there and I'll put the links down below in the comment section as well. Uh, thanks very much for watching this video. Look forward to seeing you all in the next one and uh, bye.
Yeah.